Greetings and salutations, Johnny Mac, like a metal boss. Here with another quick video, um, collection update. Um, got no notes on this one, just a quick show off of some uh, thrashy vinyl um, in the background. You may be able to hear listening to Shatterblane with Pitchfork Justice. This is some Death Thrash from Australia. Uh, I received it in the package from Steve of Ains Abyss. And it's awesome. I gave it last last night. I really liked it, so I thought I'll uh, have it on in the background. Highly recommended. Good shit. Listen to Shattered Blaine. So just a few albums to show. Won't keep you long. First up, everybody and his dog have already showed it, but I hadn't, so. Hell, the album in the sleeve. James, I'm going to see him a few weeks' time, I think, is it? Thanks, Phil. And the sheep. Um, yeah, as everybody's been saying, this is certainly a evolution in the sound, shall we say. This is the clean vinyl. Don't know if you can see it because I've not got the light on because it's nice and sunny outside. That's a green liner one. Excellent stuff. Well, hell of a goat, obviously. Um, yeah, brilliant album. Nearly, really is. Um, now, I already had that. I've showed it before, so I'm not going to show it. But I needed to pick up the first one. Coagulation Darkness. I'll show you this. I'll show this off yet. This is the Second lead press, I think. Um, that's the cover. Second press has got the. I think there's a third press out now with the logo that's a bit smaller, apparently. Not as dominant. This one's Diabolic Night Records. This was at least 21. This particular version. The sheet. James on it. Next up, one of the greatest trash albums of all time. Only got myself a copy of Lane and Blood on vinyl. I think this is the Australia, uh, the USA, the American, uh, the issue from, I think it's 2017 from the Discogs. Some place where they can sell it. Let's see it. American recordings. Def Jam. Yep. Total classic. So when we go to that shelves all time. Fucking love it. Um, next up, we got some UK. 
Gloss Over Thrash. Um, I've actually seen this band twice live and they are wonderful pest control. Um, female vocalist who is fucking awesome. Um, first time I saw them was supporting Enforced. Just seen them a few weeks ago supporting Wormlot as well. Very cool, awesome cover. Um, 11 tracks. Um, when I saw them supporting Enforced, they even did a Suicidal Tendencies cover. Subliminal, which was fucking awesome. Didn't do it. Supporting Wormlot. I have to be telling Dave that they did, but there you go. Obviously got more stuff out because first time I saw them this wasn't out I don't think. So this comes in lovely. Vomit green. Well no. I don't, I don't think anybody can vomit this colour unless you've been eating green stuff. Anyway, yeah, cool. Excellent, excellent. If you can, if it's still uh, available on the band tank, I uh, suggest you pick it up. It's fucking brilliant. If you like your crossover thrash. Next up, and this is UK, I could be wrong. Um, Perfector. I think I showed the album we were listening to, the, uh, the first album. Back then, the one of my videos. <coughs> I haven't got them to show in this yet. Make this up as well. Uh, the hype sticker says Have at the Midnight Hour by Aggressive Effector. Uh, haunting mix of speed, thrash, and heavy metal garnished with occult nightmares. The second press. Well, this is the second press of it. You get an epoch poster. Yes, you do. Jubbly, like a movie inspired, or a movie inspired poster. Cool. Fully recommend this band. Awesome stuff. I know um, Andy Clevy Milder's a big fan. He's got the t-shirt and the fucking everything. Um, yeah, excellent stuff. Progressive Perfector. Um, Lillian, Lillian. Um, I think this is just black vinyl. Yeah. Lodge your nose. It's sometimes more beautiful. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Stick with it as well. Uh, next up, we've got a couple of the issues that um, I picked up. I think probably before Christmas, but I just don't think I showed them on a collection update. Blah, blah. Okay, that's first is from List of the Records. And here's the wonderful Sadus. <coughs> with um, Swallowed in Black. This is fucking excellent, almost, um, well, it is, I suppose, Death Trash. Got Death Metal in here, but this is Sensi Trash. Excellent stuff. Can't remember when it originally came out, and I can't remember when the other press was. Pardon me, because I haven't done any fucking notes. Um, but this is awesome, as we all know. So they're vinyl. Classic album. From back in the day. Excellent shit. Talking of excellent classic albums. Uh, everybody and their dogs already showed this. But the press of uh, violence is a uh, nightmare, eternal nightmare. Awesome, awesome stuff. I like it that it's not shiny cover. It's the one that isn't shiny. Um, the collage and booklet thing. <coughs> um, metal blade. And we'll do the awesome sleeves. And this is the... Um, as well unless it's got a bit of marble in it hype sticker says uh they are the classic from 1988 finally gets its uh oh 
gets its treatment. Okay. Remastered for vinyl, Blood Dead Marble includes LP, booklet and download card. I'm not done with the download card. Uh, and last but by no means least, I picked this up off eBay a while ago. I just haven't showed it. Uh, this is Snow White. Uh, this is the EP, Kick them when they're down. Obviously, uh, it's only got five tracks on it. Um, I was after the one that was shown that's got the track on um, Stars on Trash um, compilation, which is fucking awesome. I like the kid with the eight ball or whatever it is on it. I fucking knows what it's called. Um, I was after that one, but I couldn't find it for a decent price. But this was nice and cheap on on eBay. So I said I picked it up. Uh, it had no inner sleeve or anything with it, and it needs a bit of glue on it, but the price I wasn't complaining. Um, it's on Axe Killer Records. I presume it's the original label it came on. So there we go, Snow White. And the Jets, it's not a bad EP. It's pretty cool. So there you go, that's we done. Totally be quick for me. Um, if you're new to the channel, all right. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers, although I seem to get a, a few in and then, as I said, I seem to take two forward and three back. So I'm still on four, six, two, I think. Anyway, not that I'm counting. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to like, comment, That'll be really cool, and I'll catch you in the next one. Laters.